If you have any doubts regarding to the previous demos, or uh, uh, you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll. Uh, so otherwise, I'll I'll continue with the new one. Uh, so, okay, uh, I'm, I'm going with the new thing. I already told to you, right, yesterday. So now how will be the environment and uh, uh, what type of uh, platform we are going to use? Now oh, I'm sharing the screen. You're able to see my screen? 
with the uh, website address dns address is a local host double eight double eight three yes oh, yeah okay right so you know, this this is a uh, this is a uh, ui where you can able to create and where you can able to interact with the uh, uh, python with help of the jupyter from the web browser okay so now here just i'll show in detail the i'll tell later but up to now and to, to create a specific folder for you you need to go to the new and folder that folder is you are able to see seconds ago it is created it's an untitled folder if you want to rechange i created this folder and now i'm going inside of this folder and creating one separate subfolder i'm renaming it and renaming it as Python basics. Okay. I'm creating one more folder that is I told you right yesterday. So now we'll have some specific libraries that will help to clean our data and to perform different operations. These particular libraries will be helpful. NumPy and I'm creating one more folder that is a pandas. These are uh, changed. You see, order changed. I don't want to change the order. So that is the reason, you know, what I'm doing. Zero one. And after that, two. Well, because whenever we are performing any this, such a type of activities, if you feel like that after completion of one, uh, another one will be there. You need to maintain a specific order. Okay. See this one? This is the uh, uh, folder which you are going to see all these things. Which are, uh, if it is related to NumPy, we will do all the things in NumPy. If it's related to Pandas library, we will do it in. If it's related to Python, uh, all the basic Python, all those things, and we will create in this particular folder. In the basic Python, we will create, uh, we will go and check. In basic Python, I'm going to create. Now I'm creating the notebook. This is the no notebook where you can able to interact with the Python with help of the browser. If you want to, uh, you can replace, you can rename this particular fold, uh, file. Okay. This is called Jupyter Notebook Intro. Okay. So now, what is dot IPYNP? Anyone can guess? What is IPYNB? An extension to your Python file. Yes, what it's, uh, 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 I mean, it's like, how can you are able to understand? It's like interactive <laughs> Python notebook. Sorry? Interactive Python notebook. Yes, right. Extension. Okay, IPYNB means nothing but interactive Python notebook. Whenever you create a Jupyter notebook, after completion of all those things, 
the result will be saved in the form of dot e i p y n p. Okay. These are comments. Comments are not. I will tell some basic tips which are related to uh, this particular Jupyter notebook. Comments are not. What is the use of comments or not? Anyone can tell. Uh, I hope a, a programmer, programming background people are there, right? So now, what it is? Shalini, you are able to hear me? Yes. Okay, right. So, what is the use of comments and notes? Guys, anyone can try to answer or try to tell your opinion. Something, something about the something important to note or uh, for the future reference. Yes, definitely. Uh, to explain about your code to the other people apart from you, and after if you come back a long time back to that particular code, you also are easily understandable what purpose that particular code is written and how it is working. Along with that, if you developed some code, you feel like that it is not currently usable, but it may be you, you have a thought like that it may be useful in the future. In that case, also. You know what you will do? You will comment that code and whenever it is required, you're going to, uh, uh, I want to say like, you're going to uh, release that particular code. Okay. So now in comments, we have a different uh, facilities we have especially. The first thing is, this is the cell of code cell. Okay, particular rectangular box you are able to see. It is cell or code cell. And if you observe, one cursor blinking inside to this particular cell. Okay, this means this is the current cell, active cell, present cell. Okay. Okay, see now. To write a code, code cell will be useful. To write a code and to execute. To write a code. This cell will be useful to write a notes on big comments. Markdown will be useful for you. To write notes and explanation about code, markdown will be useful. Just see what is what is markdown. This is generally code cell, right? So you can able to write some coding and uh, you can execute it, and you can you can get to know. You can get to know if you want to, if you want to write a, some uh, write some specific notes. Just what you need to do, you can select by activating this cell. And go to this particular folder and you can go to this particular drop down and select markdown. Now the cell is converting as a notes. Okay, this is a markdown. 
observe some tips uh, which you can able to capture the notes. So what is the difference between comments and markdown? Okay, comment is a single line, but markdown you can able to collect the notes of paras and paras and paras. You understand? How we will use comments? How we will use comments? For example, in SQL, in each and every language, different type of syntax. For example, in Python, we'll use uh, addition of two variables. For example, A is equal to 10, B is equal to 12, C is equal to A plus The program intention is that defining variables, defining variables is here. If you observe, this is the defining variable. And yeah. uh, what is the purpose of this line? If you write this type of comment, it will be someone or using uh, the speaker or something else. Can you please uh, check? Uh, I'm getting some echo. For performing addition activity. And these are the comments. But here what I'm showing is completely notes. If you want to take a numbers and uh, lines and lines of code, then you see. And if you want to store your 10 lines or 5 lines or 6 lines of code without executing, to hide without executing, we can use this particular mark. And see what happened markdown. Headings. You are observing anything? Anyone can observe what is happening? We can add subheading in this markdown. Increasing the number of hashes, decreasing the size of the heading. Mm -hmm. Are able to observe? Right. Increasing the number of hashes, decreasing the size. Like this up to this is the last one. Okay, is it clear? Now, if you want to get a bolt or italic. See what it is. So these are the different ways to write and to produce a different uh, uh, text categories.
Okay. Now. I will show you another thing. If you want to write some specific points, you can use your observations or your analysis. You can write like this. You can write. Okay. If you want to write a sub points there also you can write. Okay. These are the different uh, things which you can able to uh, write. You can able to produce a, a text with the color also. If any one of you having any idea related to HTML, then you got to understand easily. You see, green. Okay, writing text with color, you can change whatever the uh, color you want to add, you can change it. Okay, up to now, anyone have any doubt? At here to creating the notes and to creating comments, or what is no, what is code cell, what is a, uh, uh, what is a markdown? Anyone have any doubt up to here? Ramya? Rajini, no. Shalini, no doubt. No. Okay, right. Now I'm going with some specific shortcuts which are available and which you need to know when you're working and when you are learning the Python. Uh, we need to be familiar with this particular ID. Then it will be very easy for us to create a cell. Just see. So I don't have any cells, right? For example, I performed addition operation. There is no new cell for me. From there, we'll start. <clears throat> first time taking some notes, right? Related to it. So that is the reason first I want to convert this particular cell into markdown. To convert code cell into markdown sk plus m okay and now what i need to do i need to convert this particular cell into code cell and after that to convert markdown to code cell, you need to use SK plus Y. And along with that, you can use the toolbar function also. Toolbar drop down also useful to convert cells to code cell or markdown it is the this one if you want to feel like that you can you want to change into code cell you can change if you want to change as a markdown you can change these are the ways. 
ne yapıyorsun? To create a new cell, we have a three ways. You know, one is If you're able to observe one plus symbol is there, cells are adding. Okay. In the toolbar. Okay. And the second way is escape plus A. You know what it what happened if you used escape plus E? it will create a new cell above to the current cell what is the current cell what is the current cell where the bring uh, where the cursor is blinking okay just i am using the shortcut escape a okay It will create a new cell. It will create a new cell below to the current cell. Below to the current cell is nothing but escape plus B. Okay, just see I'm using it. I'm removing this thing. Okay, removing this thing. Just I'm using escape B shortcut to create it. Okay, how to create a new cell? This is. Okay, I, here just I want to create a heading, which is. Um, Okay, see now. This is to create a new cell. If you observe, if it is in the particular code cell format, this code is not going to execute. You need to change it into markdown and you, can, you need to execute that thing. Okay. And these are the uh, things which are useful for you in creating and in converting. For example, if you want to execute the code, execute the code which you written in the form of uh, after in the code cell, what you need to do. What type of uh, shortcuts are there? What type of ways are there to execute it? To execute code in the cell. Anyone can tell which one is useful in the toolbar? Run. Yes. Execute code. Click on run in toolbar. And another way is shift plus enter. I'll tell where you are going to use shift shift plus enter and what it will happen if you use the shift plus enter i'll show you just simply 
2 plus 3. I am directly executing this code. Just see what is happening. There is no cell beside to it. And just I am executing my cursor. You are able to see in that folder. In that particular current cell. I am executing with help of shift plus enter. What happened? It executed the code. And along with that. It will execute the code. And create a new cell if there is no there is if there is no if there is no new cell below to the current cell okay if there is a cell navigation pass it to the below cell. Just see what I'm saying. Now one below cell is there, right? Once again, I'm writing this code and I'm executing this code. What is happening? It is executed and it is moving to the below cell, but it is not creating any new one. So now I'm deleting it. Now, if you see, I'm just executing it, then it is creating a new cell. Okay, the run functionality also same. But the control functionality, so we can able to, we can execute the code with help of the control plus enter also. You know what it will happen in the once again, guys, thing is Okay. See. Okay. Uh, we can able to execute the code which is inside to the cell with help of the control plus enter also. I'll tell what will happen. Just see, I am removing this particular column and I am using, I am executing this code with the help of control and enter. What happened? Okay, uh, I am I'm removing each and everything and I am writing 12 plus 13, executing with the help of the control and enter. What happened? It just performed the addition operation. That's it. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. What it will do? It will execute to execute code to execute code and there is no new cell creations remember that is a control enter okay clear three ways guys anyone have any doubts 
uh, please uh, uh, ask me. Okay, see now. To delete a cell, to delete a cell, how you're going to delete? Okay, see, and I performed some specific operation, and after that, I performed addition. I performed some multiplication. Okay, I want to delete the cell. Where you're able to identify to delete the cell? In the toolbar, you are able to see. Delete. Right Read it. Delete cell. Okay. Where you're able to see? First, to write the notes, we need to convert into a markdown by using SKPM. Where you need to go? Edit and inside edit. And the second way is SK plus DD. Okay, just see SK plus D, SK plus D. I, we need to activate it and we need to get back it to delete the cell. For example, if you want to change a, cell, a specific order of the cells, for example, just you see, I'm creating new cells below to the current cell with help of the escape B. Escape B means below. Okay, I'm giving order. For each and every one, each and everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. See, now I want to change this particular six to after one. How you will take? You were able to see some specific errors. Okay, I want to bring two below to five. I, I need to first activate this cell by clicking uh, with cursor and then I need to bring down. Okay. To move the cells, what is what are the things? Up arrow and toolbar. Okay, up arrow and down arrow in the toolbar. That is uh, clear at here. Now, we'll uh, so no, I I'll try to introduce a very very basic information related to python you know python is a very simple language not like another language you don't need to worry about uh, a very complex syntaxes just you can perform operate different ma different operations like a simple calculator itself otherwise uh, and along with that if you want to define any variable just you can define you don't need to define you need to tell to the system it is a uh, it is a int or float or something else something else it will automatically take and it will perform If it is text to numbers, anything we can store yeah. it. If it is a text also, you can directly mention, but the only one condition is you need to use single quotes or double quotes. In between, if you define the text, then it will consider it as a uh, text. In Python, we will call it as a string data type. Okay, for example, if I want to uh, define as a text means, you know what I will do? I'll use double quotes. Hi, this is Python. Uh -huh. 
Okay, I'm executed it. See, I call the C value which I stored previously, and this is hi. This is Python for data analytics. Like this, we're going to discuss all the basic concepts which are there in the Python and NumPy and Pandas, along with practical exercises. Okay. These are things which are related to uh, SQL. Now, uh, uh, a session is open for the uh, take questions. If anyone have any questions related to the course and curriculum and the, uh, how we are going forward and all those things, you can ask me. I'm 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 open to answer your questions. If anyone have any questions, Rajani, Ganga, Ramya, Shalini. I don't have any Sutha, questions. Sunita. So now you get an understanding on what so, is data analytics? Yes. You know, here what we are doing, we need to try to find some information which is inside to the data. We need to extract that particular hidden information which is not visible to our eyes with the help of these tools and these technologies. Excel, uh, database, Power BI, and Tableau, and Python. You don't worry about your, uh, I mean, say like your level of understanding on all those things. So no, I'll each and everything I'll start from the scratch. If you have, uh, if I feel like that you need some more brush up concepts, I'll 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 suggest some of the resources which you need to put a little bit of hard effort. That's it, and uh, uh, class is open to clear all of your doubts at any place, at any time. You can post uh, your doubts in the group. So, you know, you know the remaining people will also help you to uh, understand your doubts and uh, uh, be able to help your doubt along with me. The actual sessions are going to start from the uh, next week. Uh, this is a Friday, right? Saturday and Sunday. So from Monday onwards, uh, the actual sessions are going to start. We'll start with the Excel and uh, uh, we will cover some basic concepts in the Excel and after that we will go to the SQL, after that we will go to the Tableau and after the data warehousing concepts and Python. So once again we will go on deep dive into the remaining concepts based on that requirement. Uh, this is a two-month uh, two session or a more than? Uh, so no, it's a two-month session. Uh, two months at ten. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, so no, I am not uh, uh, ready to accept that you need to stack your doubts and uh, I'll uh, tell the at the end of the class. Whenever you got a doubt, you need to ask me immediately. Don't worry about uh, the class is going to disturb or something else. Just you need to clear your doubts. Because of that reason, it may be extended for five or ten hours. Because of doubts clarification in the live class itself, that is the only one reason. Otherwise, it's just a one and after two months, of course, based on your understanding and based on your fastness in uh, clearing the assignment. After completion of uh, uh, three or four classes, I'll give one assignment related to uh, a specific module. Uh, do we need to have any previous understanding in these? So no, I'm I'm saying right. So no, you don't have, you don't want to be a expert in any of these things. If you're familiar, that's fine. If you're not familiar, no problem. I'll start from very basic. So no, today we discuss it. Right, this is a very basic thing. There is no before or no beyond this thing. Like this, we'll discuss each and every concept. If I feel like that, you need to be brushed on more things, and you need to have some uh, specific uh, practice focus then definitely I'll help you to uh, make it by providing some resources.
So actual classes are going to start from September 6th, right? Yes, right. Okay. It's Tuesday. Yes, okay. So it's um, it's four it's four days in a week or it's a five days in a week. Oh, five days. For the okay. starting, right? Starting, right? I mean, it's like you also need to take your decision uh, uh, to reach out them your confirmation, right? So that's the reason uh, they skip Monday for this particular first session. So Monday evening, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days a week. Is it like that? Not Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? Yeah, in India, they call it is going to be Monday. That's why it is. Oh, in US, it is, sun, it is Sunday to Sunday night. Yeah, in US, we have Sunday night. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm saying in the perspective uh, uh, from my, from my ISD timings. Okay, yeah. okay, we understand that. Okay, what's this particular timing for you? What did you say? 